Hello everybody and welcome to another Agile IT Tech Talk. This is a follow-up to the video we did just before about where things live in Teams. Now in that we went through a live demo explained where things lived when you're operating in Teams. This is a higher level view without the demo to make it a lot easier to understand where things live. And again, this is going to be a short and simple one, but it is going to be incredibly foundational and we're going to refer to this again and again and again as we go through talking about the security and compliance features that are available in Microsoft 365. So let's take a look. So in the last video, we showed off the hierarchy inside of Teams. And much of that was all about the chat services. And that's within channels and within private chats. Now, all of these go through the M365 substrate, which stores every piece of data in a Microsoft 365 tenant. The data is either native to or is replicated from another source, like the Teams message store in Azure Cosmos DB. Sometimes these are just pointers to where other things exist, but in essence, it means that the Microsoft 365 substrate is a repository for everything in a tenant, powering things like enterprise search and the compliance and security tools we'll be showing off in later videos. The important thing to know is that emails, chats, and channel messages all really live inside of Exchange, while files and OneNotes are stored in SharePoint. Those files shared in private messages that reside in OneDrive for Business, yep, those technically reside in SharePoint as well. Now, this is great, as you can see in this diagram, because that means there are only two real places where information needs to be controlled. Now, to enable compliance tools, including e-discovery, data loss prevention, insider threat management, etc., the M60, M365 information protection tools are able to pull all of the needed information from those two places, enabling total coverage across the platforms. This is probably one of the most important diagrams to keep in your head architecturally when you start to plan out compliance and security of the information within your tenant. Now, it's simple, but it is truly foundational. So I hope this clarifies things. I'm gonna do another video in a couple of sessions talking about how voice is handled. And that's actually still built on Skype. It's really interesting. But for now, I really wanted to get this out there and shared because this is really going to be built upon in my letters sessions. Thanks a lot for joining us and have a great day.